guys, welcome back to our channel, Metal Hand by Vaishwik and Srimanity. So, today I'm the only one who's explaining. So, you might as well have seen my sister's video on inner and outer organs. But today we are mostly going to focus on inner organs. So, like we're going to dig deeper into the subject of inner organ and explore more and learn new facts. So let's do this! So first, let's start with the brain. So the brain is a complex thinking organ that organizes um, our memories, thoughts, and emotions. So the brain has a long-term and short-term memory system. So in the long-term memory system, the brain usually keeps important stuff that you need to like know. Like if you studied for a math quiz, it might be in the long-term memory system because that's important for you to know so you could get an A on the math quiz. So, the long-term memory system organizes all the information and facts that you need to know. Now, let's move on to the short-term memory system. The short-term memory system organizes all the stuff that we probably don't need to know. So the short-term memory system organizes some things like one of your pictures and some unimportant memories too. So I have a question for you. So do you remember your birthday you had last year? Yup, I think you all do. But now, do you remember the outfit you wore? Five days ago? Even I don't remember that. Cause that got deleted from your brain system in the short term memory system. So you wouldn't, you like don't need to know it a lot. So now let's move on to the treasure run. The treasure is mostly known as the windpipe. It carries oxygen into the lungs and removes carbon dioxide. So this is a part of the respiratory system. So it all starts with the nose. The nose brings in oxygen through, through the air around you. And if there's any dust particles or anything, nose hairs help clean the nose out. So, and then the air goes through the treachery to the lungs. So now let's start talking about the lungs. So the lungs are a vital organ that makes you like breathe. So those are like breathing pouches and they all, and they have like their own protective bones called the rib cage. So the lungs, the lungs have like teeny tiny stem-like thingies called bronchioli. And then on those stem-like thingies, there are like air sacs called alveoli. So there's about 600 million alveoli in one pair of lungs. Wow, that's a lot in there. So as you noticed here, one lung is always bigger than the other one. The left lung is smaller and the right lung is bigger. So the lungs have like a lot of those alveoli thingies and they're, they're a vital part of the lungs cause they help us like breathe. And the alveoli walls are super duper thin so oxygen come, can come in and carbon dioxide could be released back in the process of the lungs, the treachery, and then the nose or mouth. So now let's talk about diaphragm. Yeah, the diaphragm is a sheet of 
muscle that is used to rest the muscles, like the lungs, is used to like rest the lungs. And when the lungs expand, the diaphragm like gets straightened a bit. And when the lungs like do not expand, the diaphragm curves a little to make the lungs like comfortable and and also it is used as a like a barrier from the upper body and the lower body parts so now let's talk about the heart the heart is like the engine of your whole body the heart delivers blood all around the body using veins and arteries so now let's move on to the lower body system. So, now let's start talking about the liver. So, the liver is like one of the biggest organs. Actually, it is the biggest organ in your whole entire body. The liver is a wizard at taking up toxins and bringing down medicines so they could start working in our body. Like, if there's any like bad stuff that enters your liver, so the liver will just make it go away in the urinary system. So the liver produces a liquid called bile. Bile is used to clean the intestine. So the liver also uses a common carbohydrate called glucose and transfers it into glucagon, which is used as energy and a sieve for later too. So the liver just takes out toxins out of your blood and takes them into the Small, large and small intestine with the bile to break down fat and then the bile goes into the urinary system and comes out of your bladder of course so now let's start talking about the gallbladder so the gallbladder is in storage for bile. So the bile gets released. So the bile like waits for the stomach to command it to like release it. So when there's like any fats, the bile could like just break them out into tiny pieces so they could be easier to absorb. So now let's talk about the stomach. So the stomach belongs to the digestive system. So the stomach has these kind of gastric juices that make food particles into even tinier pieces. So, so the stomach main function is to just make, make the food items smaller and smaller and smaller so now let's talk about the pancreas so the pancreas creates a hormone called insulin and another hormone called glucagon so so the pancreas balances the level of sugar in your blood so if there's too much sugar the hormone called insulin makes it lower and and if there's too less sugar, the hormone of glucagon does the reverse act of it and makes the sugar levels higher. So it balances the sugar level in our body. Now let's, let's go into the small intestine. So the small intestine actually just breaks down food even more and absorbs absorbs 
pro proteins and nutrients, which help your body grow and get stronger. So, if there's any like unabsorbed, um, any absorb unabsorbed proteins and nutrients, they go into the large intestine. Now let's talk about the large intestine. So the large intestine does the same thing. So the large intestine absorbs more nutrients and protein. And then if there's any waste in that food, it gets sent into the urinary system and, and gets into a form called poop. And it goes out of your body. So, so now let's talk about the kidneys. So the kidneys filter the blood. So if there's any blood which is like bad, the kidneys get the artery and then the artery gives the bad blood to the kidneys and the kidneys filter the bad blood and make the blood clean again so the kidneys take off all the bad stuff and send them into the ureters the ureters leads to the bladder so now let's talk about the bladder so the bladder is just a pouch that holds all our pee and when if it's and when it's half full, the brain sends a message all the way to the bladder telling it's time to re release the pee. So, so then the bladder releases the pee in another tube called the urethra. The urethra is just like a tube for a pee to go out of quickly. So, this is all about the inner organs of the human body and their functions. So if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.